Alright, Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rokha Kadesh. Next up, honor to the elders of GMS and peace of blessings to Akam out there as pushing his truth. Shalom, Yahweh Bahashem, Rokha Kadam, to the elect. So, Kyle, the first question I'm going to start with is uh, Luke chapter 6. Verse 23 reads, Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in like, for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. Alright, so, we in that time, so we're, uh, the Lord, he gonna deliver us, alright? And as you see right here, if you jump down to verse 35, it reads, Beloved yet. So I can count. It reads, But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again. For your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the church of the highest. Yeah, just like, uh, just like Yahweh shot, man. All right. The Lord, Yahweh set up his only begotten son, Yahweh shot, to, you know, be be like that great angel that, that you know, that one of the mightiest angels. You know, he's the, he's the um, only begotten son, you know, basically like first class. You know, the best, the best of the best. Yeah, I was shot, man. You know, he's he's like he's like not so like, you know, like that good angel, you know that, you know, angel of light or something, you know. Which the Lord, he gonna give us that power, the power, of light, you know, the just power in general, you know. As it reads here, it says, "Fear is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil." Be therefore merciful as your father also is merciful, right? And it reminds me of this scripture where it says, uh, be perfect even as my father is in heaven, all right? Let me just put perfect heaven to be able to find it. Oh, con, it's, uh, it's Matthew 5. This is Matthew 5 and 48. So we know the time of persecution is is, um, is coming. It might you know might be right. The Lord is gonna draw is draw near, but we know that also the Lord is gonna um, protect us in a way, to where you know, um, this word is still gonna go out. You know, and that's what's happening. The word is going out throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, and while most people are involved with just things that are worldly or they might be involved with things that just don't profit anything hey well that's that's on them you know but us you know we're remaining um focused and concentrated in this truth and that's what it got to be about and as i read said this is matthew 5 and 48 be therefore perfect even as your father which is in heaven is perfect right and 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 we worship the father and the son you know and we know that you know yeah, I was shy. He wants us to be perfect like his father, man. That way, you know, we, we may be blameless and innocent in his sight, you know. That's why it's about repenting and um, asking for forgiveness of sins and, you know, doing these certain things. All right. So let me see what else scriptures I can give you, Akim. All right. Because there's always something popping off every day. You know, the Lord, hey, um, he brings judgment every day. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's the point. Let's see what else I can get. Oh, yeah, it talks about an exceeding great army. So, let me see if I can get that. This is, um, this is Ezekiel 37 and 10. All right. Because, see. You know, we being shot through that fight, right? So, we'll totally make it out, right? So, Connor says, Ezekiel 37 and 10, read, so I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they and they lived, and they and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army, yeah. You know? So, and this is what we we'll explain to our people that, you know, you're gonna have an exceeding great army stand upon their feet, which is the hundred and forty four thousand and um that's that's a that's a beautiful sight to see. That's a glory in itself, you know. Knowing that there's an election, that knowing that there's a there's there's a, um there's a remnant and there's a chosen, you know, so the Lord is dealing with his chosen. 
All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to reverse down to 10 because this is speaking of the one third remnant. You know, these, it says, um, these slain, right? That they may live. So I'm going to start at verse 9. It reads, Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the women, Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Yeah, you know. So that exceeding great army is the 144,000, but, um, that breath being, um, um, that, that, um, that breath being, um, breathed upon the slain is the one, one third, you know, because it said come from the four winds, so you're going to have, um, the one third being saved and the 144,000, you know, the slain, because, you know, now people, you know, some of them are still asleep, so, you know, they got to wake up, you know, they got to wake up, you know, and the one third consists of man, woman, and child, so, that's the point, all right. So, um, so let me see what else I can get. And we explaining this to our people, you know, this is the this is all prophecies coming out, you know, from the scriptures. And as it reads in um the book of Acts, this is Acts 3 19. It says, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So the Lord is watching, all right? And, um, yeah, so like, so that's the point, you know. The times of refreshing are coming soon, you know, the time of restoration and refreshing and all this, you know, the Lord restoring the earth and you know, everything, um, going back to its, no, you know, its normal state, you know, just on how things are supposed to be, you know, grass being green. I just looked out my window today and I'm seeing the trees, they looking all green. And I'm like, yo, that looks beautiful. It looks like a grape tree or something. I don't know if there's such thing, but it's like, you know, so, you know, we in that season, you know, we in the season of fall, but the point being is that like, man. The Lord, the way he uh, sets up things, you know, through the spirit, you know, you look out, say you step out, it could be any, anybody, you know, you step out your, your, um, the front door of your building or say you live in a house and, you know, you might see the trees full again, you know, you know, or you, 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 you pass by somewhere, you know, say you're going to like, like, let me see, say you're just traveling on foot and you, you know, you, you know. You walking on a sidewalk, but then you you pass by like some grass, or you pass by the forest or something, and you smelling the flowers or the you know, and it smell good. So that's the Lord restoring things unto us, like He restoring the earth. You know, He re He making things refresh, and it talks about that how He gonna sprinkle clean water upon us and things like this. So we're gonna change. We're gonna be changed. Our bodies, the way we think, our thoughts is gonna be. We're we're just basically gonna know only good. You know, we're gonna we're gonna live a we're gonna be godly. We're gonna be godly once again. We're gonna live a righteous life. It's also about how um all right people shall be righteous. All right. So yeah, it speaks about this man. How all right people shall be righteous. And that's what's coming. Because right. Yahweh Shah, his blood doesn't have to be shed for us anymore. <laughs> All right. That's another thing, too. Yahweh Shah, yeah, his blood doesn't have to be shed for us. Meaning, you know, since his blood doesn't have to shed, meaning we're gonna, that means we're going to be God's once again. All right. And we're going to live forever this time. So that's what's going to happen. All right. So let me see what else I can get. Um, this is um, Romans 8 and 25. It reads, And the Lord, he knows our thoughts. So that's why the best thing we could do is just stay in the spirit at all times, you know. But yeah, this is Romans 8 and 25. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it, you know. 
so that's what we doing. We um we patiently are waiting for the kingdom to come. I ring, and that's what's that's what's finna come real soon, man. It's the kingdom. So pretty much, um, I guess I've reached the time that I wanted. It's um it's about ten minutes. So you know what I mean. I always put like a time on this thing. You know, with this with these videos, you know, I like to be on track with them. But hey, with that being said, you know, I'm gonna give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakadash. And as it says right here, deliverance from bondage, yeah. So, you know, we'll be we're, we're finna be uh released from these chains of darkness real soon, all right? So with that I came shalom and uh double honor to the others GMS. All right, shalom, I can.